Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a social interaction using the Sims 4 Mod Constructor version 5. So I currently have the Mod Constructor open and I'm going to name this Test Social Interaction and then click Create Mod on the right. On the left hand structure I'm going to click Add Element and from the list choose Social Interaction. You can keep the name as is or name it and then click create element. Now click the element on the left and on the right, we have our name underneath. We have name on target. So whenever you have an interaction on the left hand queue system, you have the name on target. So for example, currently we have listen to Sim first names, custom interaction. So I'm just going to change this slightly to listen to Sim first names, test social interaction. You can also decide whether or not this particular interaction should have a pie menu icon. For this particular example, I will choose to select one. And on the left, you can choose from the ones already included in the game, or you can choose from custom images by browsing to your computer. For this example, I'm going to choose something already in game. I'll just choose this plane for example. Okay, so underneath, you have the options to allow this to be autonomous, meaning autonomously the sim can do this interaction. If it's user directed, meaning you can select this from the menu and whether or not it's hidden in that queue on the left. You can also make this a cheat interaction that will show up under the cheat menu when you have testing cheats enabled. Main content. This is where you start building out your social interaction. So to the right of where it says undefined, click the wrench symbol or gear symbol, um, the gear symbol. And then under that selection, you'll have different introduction types and interaction types. So if it's a flirty introduction, friendly introduction, funny, mean, or if it's a friendly interaction, funny interaction, mean, romance, or as we had by default, undefined. So if I want this to show up under the friendly section, I'll choose friendly interaction. And by default, the mod constructor will pick the menu for you. So by default, it has chosen to go under the small talk pie menu under friendly. If I wanted to change this, I would click the gear symbol and then I can choose a different pie menu. And you can search this particular section for the menu you want. So small talk comes up here. If you choose friendly or type in friendly, you'll get all of the different options under friendly. So for example, I may want to choose the interest section. Just change this and click select. So now it's going to show up under interest. After you have signed the Pi menu, you click on always available, even if not assigned to a trait or buff. That's if you want the interaction to show, um, if it's not assigned to a particular trait or buff that you can set next in the condition section. You can also set the score. The minimum score is zero. That means it should always be available. If you choose 15 or 17, that will be the default score that is used by interaction by EA interaction. Um, EA uses scores to determine whether or not certain interactions are successful or sometimes even available. Next, we're going to proceed to balloons. So whenever you have a social interaction above your sim's head, there's a balloon that kind of gives you an idea of what they're talking about. So to change this, you can click this gear symbol and you can search for things that are either base game or in different expansion game or stuff packs. So for this particular example, I'll just choose, let's see if we have something we can choose. Okay. For now, let's just pick something, anything. So let's just pick TV sports. Okay, so that's the balloon that's gonna show when we're doing the interaction. Next, we have the animation. So this is the animation that plays on the Sims when they're interacting. So 
the default one, since I chose friendly, is to ask a question. If the interaction is successful, we'll have a positive animation that plays. If it fails, we'll have the annoyed interaction or animation play. If you want to change your animation for success or for failure, you just click the gear symbol and you go through and you choose the interaction or animation. Um, so for this particular example, I'm going to just leave as is, but you can go through and select a different one if you choose. Next, actions. So this will allow certain actions or loops, as the game calls them, to run after the interaction has taken place. You can either create a brand new one or you can browse things that are already in the game. So for example, I want our relationship to increase. So let's see. Here we have relationship gain, large, medium, small. I'm going to have a large interaction. Um, sorry, a large uh, relationship gain after this interaction has been completed. Okay, and you can choose as many as you'd like. And then next, advance. So what is this, this score for success or failure? These are all the default things in the game. You can increase or decrease as needed. You can also use a custom score if you'd like. And that's if you created something you're on your own, you can do a manual input here, or you can choose something already in the game. And these are some of the base game scores that the game uses to decide whether or not an interaction is successful. So for now, I'm not going to use that. Next, we have our conditions. So these are things that are needed in order to make the interaction appear. So if you add condition, where it says no condition selected to the right there's a gear symbol again and you can choose different things so you can choose for this to always run for it to only be available if you have certain buffs so maybe you only want this interaction to appear for sims that are also in a in a happy mood you can also make it so that if they're not in a happy mood it won't appear you can make it so that it only appears on target sims with certain careers or your sim, if they have a certain career, can use the interaction. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, for this first example, I'm going to choose to have it always run. And then finally, I'm going to proceed to interaction features. Here, you can have it so that once again, you can have certain conditions that are needed to run before, after, or while this interaction is being performed and it's removed immediately afterwards it's similar to what we did similarly in this particular section so for now we'll, we will ignore that and we will export our package to our sims 4 folder so click export package and i am going to navigate to where my sims 4 mods folder is contained and then i'm going to click save if your mod has been successfully created, you will get this message. The mod has been exported successfully, and then you may click close. Next, I'm going to pause and go into game so we can see our new interaction. Okay, so I've gone back in game. We have Liberty Lee and Travis Scott, and I'm going to click on Travis and go to friendly and then go to interest. So now we have our test interaction I created with our custom icon. When I click on that, now the interaction should run. Okay, and now they're chatting. Okay, we'll keep adding it. <laughs> and you see the balloon is showing. Thought bubble. So that's how social interactions work. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye bye.
Pator. 